There are a couple of rules to keep in mind when you're naming your variables. First, one of the most common mistakes is that you can't put spaces in a variable name. If you recall from the last video, we saved the variable favorite number. If we tried to use this with two words with a space in it, we would get an error. And the most common way to avoid this is to capitalize the first letter of the next word like we did in the last video. Now, some people prefer to use an underscore, you can get that with the shift minus key in place of a space. That works fine as well. Next, while numbers can be used in variable names, they cannot be the first character in the variable. Player1 equals Eurist is a perfectly fine variable to use, but if you try to type one player equals Eurist, you will get an error because you can't start a variable name with a number. You also cannot use special characters in a variable name, underscore being the exception. So you can't have a variable with, say, an exclamation point in it, try to assign a value. You'll see that in the output, we get an error. There are also some keywords that are reserved in Lua, such as and, for, if, or else. These are reserved by the language and can't be used for variable names. There's more than these, but we'll go over those in later lessons. Lastly, while you can give variables the same name as the function, it is usually not advised. For example, you can name a variable print, the function that we are using earlier, but this will override the print functions and make it so we can't use it anymore. We'll get an error if we try. So in general, remember, never name your variables the same as a function.